flesh and twerk. We are walking the signs of the time where man is wicked, where man loves their own self. Man turn away from a righteous God. Today I'm telling you from the word of God that God so loved the world that is given you through his son Jesus Christ a second chance. America, wake up. America, wake up. Your time is running out. America, your time is running out. God is calling America to strip up or to break them. God is calling America to repent and come back. America, God is calling you to turn away from all the abominations that despise him. God is saying, come out. Come out, America, from your sin. Time is running out. Time is running out. There is a wind that is blowing. That wind is blowing and the hand of God is upon America. The hand of God, the wrath of God is upon America. God is calling you America to repent today. Children is lawless. The parents is lawless. When you walk the street and you hear a five year old kid cursing so much a dirty word. You hear the father and mother cursing dirty words. And you want God to hold his hand. You say, God, hold your hand. I am ready to bed. But death is not the final. Death can never be the final. For there is a judgment. A day of judgment that every man, woman, boy, and God will be judged. God is calling you to tell you, I'm going to give you a second chance. Walk away from your sin. Walk, walk away from your sin. <laughs> All right. All right. Walk away from your sin, America. Some of you all don't want to hear the gospel. You're talking too loud. But when the music starts tonight, and every day, it won't be too loud. That's why God says, I will come as a thief in the night. I will come when you least expect me. And I will deal with everyone according to their will. Are you the one? who loves Jesus today. Are you the one that wants a second chance from Jesus Christ, the ultimate God? Are you the one who said yes to Jesus for He is the only way? Jesus Christ is the only way. Not the mother or father or sister, but Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. He's the sword that will cut you down. If you don't repent and turn up to him, Jesus will cut you down. There is a judgment. And while you are alive, there you are getting a second chance. Receive your second chance today. Receive that second chance from God. Or like the rich man and the poor man. They died the same day. And the rich man went down into the obese, in the pit of hell. Some people say that there is no hell. But there is a real hell and there is a real heaven. Yes. When the rich man went down into hell, the fire in hell was burning him so much that even his tongue was almost falling out. And he laid his head and looked up to heaven. And he saw Lazarus in the arms 
in the bosom of Father, Father Abraham. It is said, Father Abraham, said Lazarus to drop a drop of water on my cup. But it's too late for the rich man that was in hell. Poor man in hell also. Babies are in hell also. Mothers are in hell also. Fathers are in hell also. Pastors in hell also. Preachers in hell also. Everybody, doctors and lawyers. Police are in hell also. Yes. Hell was made for Satan and his and demon, his medium, but you made that choice, God don't want you to go in hell, but it's your choice, it's by your choice, you funny kid, it's by your choice, you murder, it's by your choice, you steal, it's by your choice, you funny kid. By your choice, you commit adultery. By your choice, you are a homosexual. By your choice, you are a lesbian. By your choice, you abort your child. By your choice, you are a dog in hell. You have a second chance now, right now, as you are alive, as your heart is beating. As your heart is beating, you have a second chance to come boldly to the throne and repent. That nice body you have will depart as soon as death take it over. As death take over that body, the worms start to come into the body. Yes, why do you eat the mortuary? The worms start to eat your body. Because there is no life in the body. Because the body is a shed. You glorify the body more than you glorify God. Today God is calling you to reconcile yourself back to Him. God is telling you, as you are alive, repent, repent, repent and turn back. He's giving you another chance. It's not because you have money. It's not because the color of your skin. God is calling you to repent and turn back today to a righteous God. Are you willing this afternoon to say, yes, God, yes, Jesus Christ, I am willing to turn. Are you willing this afternoon to ask God to be your master, your savior? Are you willing this afternoon? Open up your heart this afternoon. And say yes! 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 yes. 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 Lord! Come on, tell God yes. You see, you must say yes. He give you your own free will. God give us our own free will to do what we want. To go and come. To repent or not, to serve Satan or to serve God, you have your own will. But after death, where will you spend your eternity? After death, when they lay you down in the grave, add it to ashes, turn to dust, where will you spend your everlasting life? Don't forget that man is immortal. Man is immortal. The body is not you. You glorify the body. You're doing all sorts of things. You're worshiping the body. But you forget you. You are a living soul. Man is a living soul. Man is a living soul. God is calling you today. Today I will tell you, if the world reject you, God will accept you. All those that the world reject, God is calling you today and let you know that I sent my son in the world, Jesus Christ, to pay for your sin.
If you come back to Jesus, Jesus Christ, if you come back to Jesus, you will not perish, but have everlasting life. Why don't you come back today? Don't wait until you die and say, Lord, help me. Salvation is for the living and not the dead. Salvation is for the living and not the dead. So don't wait until you die and ask God to forgive you of all your sins. When you're dead, all transactions that you have with this world is finished. When you die as a pronounced it dead, all transactions you have with this world is finished too. You are finished with this life. No lovely place, no going at one man, no going at Rosses, no going at Target anymore. You are in, in the lineup either to go in heaven or to go in hell. Today I'm asking you, are you willing to say yes to Jesus Christ? Are you willing to come back home? Are you willing to change your course? That road that you on, that broad road, that fornicated road, that adulterous road, that abortion road, that murdering spirit, that lawless spirit, that homosexual life, that lesbian life. Are you willing to come up that broad road this afternoon? There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. That will break every chain that binds you this afternoon. I'm I telling you to so call upon him. Call upon him. His name is Jesus. Jesus. His name is Jesus. Jesus. His name is Jesus. Jesus. Call him. Call him. Call him. Come to him. Come to him. Don't study what you have done. He promised to wash you. He promised to clean you. He promised to change you. He promised to call you his son today. Are you ready? Are you ready to say yes, Lord? I am a sinner. And I fall short of your glory. I fall so low that I'm begging you, Lord. I need a savior. Lord, I need a Savior, and only through your Son, Jesus, uh, I can be saved. Uh, only through the precious blood of Jesus Christ, uh, I can be saved. Uh, only through the fire that he put uh, on all the disciples on the day of Pentecost, that I can be saved. Uh, God, I need you. I need you. I need you today. Please take me back, Lord. Take me back, Lord. I need you, God. I cannot make it without you. I cannot live without you, Lord. I cannot sleep without you. My mortgage, I have no money to pay. My children go on astray. My husband on drugs. My wife on drugs. My children on drugs. Lord, help me. I need somebody. Say, Lord, help me today. Call on Jesus. Don't be afraid. Big man to cry. There's only big man cry. There's only big women cry. Big women cry to God. Big men cry to God. Let go that spirit of pride. That spirit of prayer that illuminates in your soul. Let it go. And say, Jesus, Jesus, my sweet Jesus. Lord, I need you today. Jesus will say, yes, yes, and he will tell you, come home. He said, come home. You are a prodigal son. Come home. I've been waiting on you to come back home. Jesus is telling you, beside all them sins, all them adultery, fornication, he said, come. I will wash you. Jesus said, I will wash you. I will wash you. I will clean you. Some of all you, some of you, don't want to let go 